bring you the top 10 plays from the first weekend of the playoffs. Five, four, three, two, one. In our courtside countdown. At number 10, the Pacers' Mark Jackson has a no-look look for the Duncan Dutchman. Smith. Oh, what a look by Mark Jackson. Now there's nothing we like more than seeing a big man hustle. Ain't that so? So. Takes it back up. The basket goes, and he's fouled. Morning has his game face on. And so do we. At number eight, this ain't no joke. Patrick has one sweet look for a ball and oh. Nice pass. Oakley, yes. And it counts. Oakley with excellent timing. Clears down. Goes right down that wide open middle. Now the rest of the league better wake up. Or Sir Charles and company might just steal the title. Rebound by Clifford Robinson. Oh, oh there's a steal by Barkley. Oh, he is so focused here tonight. At number six, Darren Hancock knows that passing to the veterans is his chief responsibility. And the foul. Now that pass from Patrick at number eight was great. So it's up to Charles to return the favor. Ewing from Oakley. At number four, when the Jazz are on the brink, you better be sharp or you'll be singing the blue. Jazz on the run, lead pass to blue. Trailer, keep to the hoop, score. Catching the ball in midair and finding Adam keeps freaking to the basket. Oh, this must be deja vu for the Hornets as Michael uses a little reverse psychology. Jordan, oh, baby! Michael Jordan on the drive and the reverse. At number two, Sean says you want some deja vu? Sure, but I'll add a little dipsy too. Oh, Sean Kim with an acrobatic move. Look at the fans' reaction here. Oh. And for our number one play of the week, this magic run was a behind the backbreaker for Boston. Right in the hands of Shaw. Oh, 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 oh. Put that one on the highlight film. 